Hi, welcome to this month's character DIY. Today I am going to show you how to create the origami moth that Kestrel from The Winner's Curse is known for. So this is what it looks like in action. What you'll need is a glue gun, some glue sticks, a sheet of paper. It can be any sheet of paper of any color that you want, a pair of scissors, and anything that you want to use to decorate the moth with. I used feathers. I wanted to give the moth that fluffy look. And then I also have some pipe cleaners for the antenna. So let's get started. We are just going to take our sheet of paper and then we are going to fold a corner of it it doesn't really matter which corner. I am not going fully across the sheet because it's going to result in a much bigger moth. I'm just going to use a corner of the sheet and then we fold it like so. And we want to make sure that this is going to result in a perfect square or at least as close uh, to it as possible. So we are going to fold the extra um, parts of the paper. Once that's done, we are going to use the lines created by the folds to cut off the parts of the paper that we don't need. And once that's cut, we are just going to save the rest of the paper because you can use that for another couple moths. So here we have the square which is already conveniently folded the way we want it to. And then we're just going to open it up and we have a perfect square. And then we're going to fold it the other way along the middle and from corner to corner. So we have a triangle. Then open it up and you can see these fold lines and I'm going to turn it over and fold it along the middle. This time we are folding side to side. Then we open up the square and you can see that joining the X-shaped folded lines is the one that goes across and then rotate it. And then we're going to fold it the same way but this time the other side. And then we open it up again and you can see all the folded lines that we will need for the next steps. I'm going to take my finger and then go behind the sheet of paper and just pop it out so you can see the points where all the lines intersect. Then I am going to follow the line that goes from one corner to another and that would be this one that I am indicating. I'm following that line to fold slightly and then I'm going to squeeze them together so you can see it's kind of like a star. And then I'm going to fold one of the flaps to join one side and then the other flap to join the other side. So you end up with a triangle shape. I'm going to do it again. And you have a triangle shape. This is optional, but you can take your scissors and then fold it in half completely. Make sure you're going to cut along the corner that are separate instead of the ones that are joined together. You're just going to cut the corners into a curve so it's closer to the shape of a moth's wings. And then we are going to open it up to the triangle shape again. Take the front flap on one side and then fold it up. Make sure it's not completely aligned with the fold line in the middle of the triangle. You want it to be just a little off to the side, but not too much. And then we are going to do the same to the other side. Just make sure it's not totally aligned with the middle line. And this is what we have so far. Then we are going to take the top middle corner over here, rotate it so the corner is facing down. Take that corner and fold it backwards. Make sure you have a little of the corner left over, as you can see here. 
because we are going to fold it into the front to lock in the shape. Then we're going to fold the front, just the front of the moth in half to give it more of that 3D look rather than a flat moth look. And you can see the loops here. I'm just going to open them up a little more. And there you have it, your origami moth. From here, you can decorate however you want to. I'm starting off with a pipe cleaner antenna and then I'm going to go with the feathers to make it look more fluffy. And this is when the glue gun comes in handy. You don't have to use pipe cleaners or feathers. You can actually use rhinestones, beads, whatever you think will jazz up the moth, however you want. And here we have the fluffy moth side by side with the original origami shape. This is the full look. Thank you so much for joining us for today's character DIY. I hope you try this at home and if you do, please post pictures and tag us. Until next time, bye!